Do you feel like you don't speak enough Swedish? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. Today, we'll learn conversational phrases about occupations. After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about your job and ask what somebody does for a living. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Vad jobbar du med? Jag är en konstnär. Listen to it again, now with the English translation. Vad jobbar du med? What do you do? Jag är en konstnär. I'm an artist. First of all, you need to learn how to say, what do you do? That's, vad jobbar du med? Listen to it again. Vad jobbar du med? Vad jobbar du med? This Swedish sentence literally translates into, what do you work with? But it means, what do you do, in English. Now, how do you answer this question? This is the pattern you'll need. Jag är en Your occupation. I'm a an Your occupation. For example, I'm an artist. Jag är en konstnär. Jag är en konstnär. Here are a few more professions you can use with the same pattern. Police officer. Poliskonstapel. Poliskonstapel. Teacher. Lärare. Lärare. Doctor. Läkare. Läkare. Engineer. Ingenjör. Ingenjör. Now, listen to some examples. Vad jobbar du med? Jag är en lärare. Vad jobbar du med? Jag är en läkare. Vad jobbar du med? Jag är en ingenjör. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what do you do? Vad jobbar du med? Imagine you're a doctor. Do you remember how to say, doctor? Läkare. Läkare. Say, I'm a doctor. Jag är en läkare. Now answer the question saying that you are a doctor. Vad jobbar du med? Jag är en läkare. Now, imagine you're a teacher. Do you remember how to say teacher? Lärare. Lärare. Say, I'm a teacher. Jag är en lärare. Now, answer the question saying that you are a teacher. Vad jobbar du med? Jag är en lärare. Now, imagine you're an engineer. Do you remember how to say engineer? Ingenjör. 
ingenjör. Say, I'm an engineer. Jag är en ingenjör. Now, answer the question saying that you are an engineer. Vad jobbar du med? Jag är en ingenjör. Well done! In this lesson, you learn new occupation-related vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life. You are now able to talk about your job like a native speaker. Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, how's your mother? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about well-being and ask how someone is doing. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hur är det med din mamma? Hon mår bra. Once more with the English translation. Hur är det med din mamma? How's your mother? Hon mår bra. She's fine. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, how's your mother? That's... Hur är det med din mamma? Listen to it again. Hur är det med din mamma? Hur är det med din mamma? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Hon mår. State of well-being. This Swedish sentence literally means she feels, state of well-being, but it translates as she is, state of well-being, in English. For example, she's fine. Hon mår bra. Hon mår bra. Here are a few expressions related to well-being that you can use with this pattern. Great. Toppen. Toppen. Fine. Bra. Bra. So-so. Sådär. Sådär. Not good. Inte bra. Inte bra. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Hur är det med din mamma? Hon mår toppen. Hur är det med din mamma? Hon mår så där. Hur är det med din mamma? Hon mår inte bra. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how's your mother? Hur är det med din mamma? Imagine she's great. Do you remember how to say great? Toppen. Toppen. Say, she's great. Hon mår toppen. Now, answer the question saying she's great. Hur är det med din mamma? Hon mår toppen. Now imagine she's so-so. Do you remember how to say so-so? Sådär. Sådär. Say, she's so-so. Hon mår sådär. Now, answer the question saying she's so-so. Hur är det med din mamma?
Hon mår så där. Now imagine she's not good. Do you remember how to say not good? Inte bra. Inte bra. Say she's not good. Hon mår inte bra. Now, answer the question saying she's not good. Hur är det med din mamma? Hon mår inte bra. In this lesson, you learn new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about well-being. You're now able to talk about how someone is feeling like a native speaker. Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's the matter? After watching this video, you'll be able to make complaints and ask someone else if they're having any issues. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Är allt okej? Okay? Kontoret är varmt. Once more with the English translation. Är allt okej? Okay? What's the matter? Kontoret är varmt. The office is hot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, what's the matter? That's... Är allt okej? Okay? Listen to it again. Är allt okej? Okay? Är allt okej? Okay? This Swedish sentence literally translates into, is everything okay? But it means, what's the matter in English? Now. How do you answer this question? The pattern is Kontoret är Adjective The office is adjective. For example, the office is hot. Kontoret är varmt. Kontoret är varmt. Here are a few more examples you can use with the same pattern to make complaints. Hot. Varmt. Varmt. Cold. Kalt. Kalt. Noisy. Högljutt. Högljutt. Dirty. Smutsigt. Smutsigt. Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One, review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two, save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Är allt okej? Okay? Kontoret är kallt. Är allt okej? Okay? Kontoret är högljutt. Är allt okej? Okay? Kontoret är smutsigt. Okej, okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's the matter? Är allt okej? Okay? Imagine the office is cold. Do you remember how to say cold? Kallt. Kallt. Say, the office is cold. Kallt. 
kontoret är kallt. Now answer the question saying the office is cold. Är allt okej? Okay? Kontoret är kallt. Now imagine the office is noisy. Do you remember how to say noisy? Högljutt. Högljutt. Say, the office is noisy. Kontoret är högljutt. Now, answer the question saying the office is noisy. Är allt okej? Okay? Kontoret är högljutt. Now imagine the office is dirty. Do you remember how to say dirty? Smutsigt. Smutsigt. Say, the office is dirty. Kontoret är smutsigt. Now answer the question, saying the office is dirty. Är allt okej? Okay? Kontoret är smutsigt. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to make complaints. You are now able to share your concerns like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to ask and answer the question, how do you say this? After watching this video, you'll be able to ask someone how a word is pronounced. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hur säger du det här? Parkeringsplats. Once more with the English translation. Hur säger du det här? How do you say this? Parkeringsplats. It's parking lot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, how do you say this? That's Hur säger du det här? Listen to it again. Hur säger du det här? Hur säger du det här? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is Word In Swedish, we only say the word as the answer. For example, it's parking lot. Parkeringsplats. Parkeringsplats. Here are a few useful words you can use with the same pattern. Parking lot. Parkeringsplats. Parkeringsplats. Dog. Hund. Hund. Travel. Resa. Resa. Morning. Morgon. Morgon. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Hur säger du det här? Hund. Hur säger du det här? Resa. Hur säger du det här? Morgon. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how do you say this? Hur säger du det här? 
Now, imagine it's the word dog. Do you remember how to say dog? Hund. Hund. Say, it's dog. Hund. Now answer the question saying it's dog. Hur säger du det här? Hund. Now imagine the word is travel. Do you remember how to say travel? Resa. Resa. Say, it's travel. Resa. Now, answer the question saying it's travel. Hur säger du det här? Resa. Now, imagine it's the word morning. Do you remember how to say morning? Morgon. Morgon. Say, it's morning. Morgon. Now, answer the question saying it's morning. Hur säger du det här? Morgon. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to ask someone how something is said. You are now able to ask how to say something like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's your favorite number? After watching this video, you'll be able to say many numbers and ask someone their favorite number. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Det är sju. Once more with the English translation. Vad är ditt favoritnummer? What's your favorite number? Det är sju. It's seven. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, what's your favorite number? That's... Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Listen to it again. Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Det är... Number. It's number. For example, it's seven. Det är sju. Det är sju. Here are a few more numbers you can use with the same pattern. Seven. Sju. Sju. Two. Två. Två. Four. Fyra. Fyra. Nine. Nio. Nio. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Det är två. Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Det är fyra. Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Det är nio. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say What's your favorite number?
Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Imagine it's two. Do you remember how to say two? Four. Four. Say it's two. Det är två. Now answer the question saying it's two. Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Det är två. Now imagine it's four. Do you remember how to say four? Fyra. Fyra. Say it's four. Det är fyra. Now answer the question by saying it's four. Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Det är fyra. Now imagine it's nine. Do you remember how to say nine? Nio. Nio. Say it's nine. Det är nio. Now, answer the question saying it's nine. Vad är ditt favoritnummer? Det är nio. In this lesson, you learned number-related phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about numbers. You are now able to count like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell us your favorite number. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.